and welcome everyone to episode 5 of the game Banished. And hello and welcome everyone. And as from the beginning of the video, I would like to ask all of you if you haven't already to go and press that big red button underneath the video that says subscribe. Yeah, I do greatly appreciate all of the subscription I will get from you guys. So, and you will also get the notification whenever I'm putting a new video. So right now let's let's do kind of go and um. Yeah, let's go with the game. Uh, what do we have now, right now? Well, we are kind of, I would say we are kind of stable. Because, well, we do have enough food. And the food is rather going, well, rather going steady, I should say. It's going steady. Uh, also, the medicine is quite okay. 108. A number of clothing and the tools are also very, very good. Well, later on, I will probably move this blacksmith closer to the main city, I should say. And we just, just uh, finish up with the with the schoolhouse. Just finish up building. So I did assign the teacher, because, well, we could do it. We could, and we did do it. So, uh, our market is working. It's working quite okay. It's actually 75% full already, which is kind of amazing. Uh, right now we should be uh, finishing up, I believe, some of those houses. But for that, we will need to gather some more stone. So yeah, let's let's go and let's collect all of this stone over here and probably probably some from here. And yeah, I will go with the time stand speed just to make it happen a tiny little bit faster. And how is our food going? 540... Well, 5400... And I would say it's kinda going up. Yeah, let me just see about the production. Yeah, we are exceeding still. Uh, the production is still higher than the usage, so that's a good thing. That's what I am most interested in. Uh, tradable items uh, acquired. So we do have a potato, cabbage, and cherries. And I didn't know that the game right now on the builder died of the old age. Okay, okay. So the, uh, the quarry is done, but I didn't realize that we are already starting with some seeds. And I would say that is kind of amazing. But I will not capitalize on the fields yet, on the on the farming, just just yet, because right now we are more than capable of holding our own. With only those, well, only <laughs> we have like three, uh, thirty-eight gatherers. So yeah, we will hold up pretty pretty good. So the quarry is done. Now I do kind of think they will try to finish up the houses. So that's also a good thing. And you know what? I might just might go and build the blacksmith. Let me just see if it will fit in right in here. Right about here. Well, I think it will. It will fit like perfectly. So I think this spot will be reserved for the future blacksmith. And yeah, we are gathering stone over here. We do still have three builders, some laborers going about. Okay, okay, there's four students. So I'm... I dare to say we are doing okay. I dare to say we are doing okay. But right now, we will kind of slow down all the laborers, uh, well, creation of laborers, because, well, right now, all the children that will be passing, uh, passing the age, will not instantly become a laborers, but they instead will become students. So, right now we will have a kind of a slower period in our city, not well, growing city, growing village, uh, because of that fact that they will need some more time to, to start. But in the end, it is very, very profitable to, to just go and uh, stay with them, well, to educate them, give them better tools, better clothing as well. First of all, the education will give you the boost to, to their work efficiency. So the time they do spend in school will actually pay off because they will have, well, 
the shorter uh, lifespan as the workers, the actual workers that you can assign to different jobs. But at the end, they will do way, way better. Uh, okay, so now right now we have one labor left. So that's not something something really really good, but I cannot see that we are finishing up with these stone buildings over here. And I just might dedicate, I don't know, maybe this part of the land for just the farming. Uh, so food production. And the gatherer, yeah, the fields, crop field. And maybe just like over here, I will make big fields. Like two of them, just behind the mountain. Yeah, we will see about that, we will see. Uh, reserve of stone is low, I, I kinda know that. I kinda know that, but we are finishing two stone houses right now, okay? Kind of three stone houses. So yeah, yeah, we also are finishing the trading post because I did not know that we do have some of the trade items already, like the cabbage and potato. So I might, I just might go and um, build build this field over here when I see the food going to about four thousand. It will still still give us some breeding room whenever those houses are finished. And not uh, not stretch us well too much, I, sh I should say. Nomads, no nomads are requesting to join at this time. Let's do look on our inventory. We don't have any potatoes, but we do have seeds. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, production, yeah, overview. Well, we have twenty percent educated, and this number should go up. Should go up pretty, pretty, pretty fast. And right now it's just waiting for for all of them to finish, finish doing their stuff. I will resign from one builder, just one, uh, because what I do want to have those laborers going. And yeah, we do need trader right now. Hmm. You know what? I might just leave it like that. Just, just for now, just for now. We'll disable working here, so we won't be having any problems. And right now we do have a teacher and a vendor. So guys from just over here are moving in. That's good, that's good. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. And maybe, just maybe, I should place a mine right now. Just to start getting the iron going. But I don't want to exceed too quickly into the, well, bigger world and uh, bigger amount of, uh, of citizens of the villagers. Because, well, it's never a good idea to, uh, to go over your limits. Because very, very quickly you could find yourself, uh, like I did find myself last time, that I overextended. And I did make uh, quite a few mistakes uh, doing that. And it did not pay off in any way at the end where I did kill all of my guys, all of my villagers. So that was not that was not something that I would recommend in any any way. So come on, finish this house already, finish the stone house, it will be kinda nicer. Okay, we have 170 stone right now, that's good. We could work on some iron, but we do have a kind of, well, we do have kind of big deposit over here of iron, so... That's why I'm also leaving the quarry uh, unoperated, as well, we kind of don't need it right now. We are kind of good on stone, we are kind of good on iron, we do have plenty of deposits over under the ground. And another house is done, and the hunter and the tailor. So guys from way over there. So you know what, I will make the... Uh, blacksmith as I did plant over here so it is here and I will move a tailor probably to over here also so we will have both of those guys living well I would say nearby kind of nearby
and because we do kind of have more of the resources than we need, I could delete, delete this house and also that one. So this will be left as the one small village and probably, probably I will need a road. So let me just quickly go and build one. But how I would like it to go, first of all let me just put a straight road over here and also over here. And I'm thinking by the quarry, if we go... Oh, we cannot pass over here. Okay. Yeah, but the people are coming in and going from here to here. Oh, that's strange. So now, because you are coming and going from here... Okay, that's like the last spot I could place a road. And that's like the first spot I could place a road, so yeah, let's... Let's do connect it. And I do love whenever the uh, forester is working. It's like, there's trees everywhere and you can kind of look over. With a small part of the city. And I do do... I, I like the aesthetics of the game, I must say. I, I like the aesthetics of the game. So after we do have this road, we will have the... Oh yeah, the blacksmith is already done. Is there any iron ore in here? Or in store in here? No. There is none. So let me collect those iron over here. So we will have some. Yeah, like from over here. And we do have one guy working in here. Did we delete that one? Yep, we did. The tailor is done. So I would kind of appreciate if you guys would build me this one. That would be kind of cool. Ah, uh, and we have just the spring of the new, new children in our village. Who was born? Devans, Trisha, Lithley and Arson was born. Well, at the late summer, we are right now. Uh, two children only were born, but that's cool, that's cool, that's okay. So I kind of want to build the road. Yeah, some more roads. More roads. Roads are good for you. Up to here, and I believe we will just surround the city hall. And what else we could use? Could we use a hospital? Well, Raul Health right now is kind of good. Uh, maybe a chapel? Maybe a chapel like right over here, just next to the, uh, to the town center. It might be a good idea. It is kind of big though. Or maybe we could put it over. Ah, no, 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 no. Let's just stick to it. Because I was thinking, okay, I will put it here, so all the citizens will have good access to it. But then yet again. Over here will still be good because I am planning the expansion of houses towards I would say that side of the of uh, of the city, and probably just a couple of wooden houses over here just for farmers. So they will have a kind of a long way to go uh, to to the city, but well, still, still it it should be okay. It should be okay. So I I am thinking right now. I am thinking very very hard about putting the chapel in place over here. Hmm. Should I or should I not? Oh, that is a very different story. Well, that's a very tough question. But yeah, let's let's do give those guys a chapel. They do deserve it. I can I kind of believe uh, they do deserve it. And I'm sorry for the sound in the in the background here. But it was just the. Uh, just my phone saying that someone was messaging me about something And I do hate when it happened, especially when there are those nasty and pesky commercials like Offering you something for nothing like, or like you just win the lottery. You just win 50,000 Okay, but what I have to do you just need to send our uh, us the uh, Message that will cost you only like 10 of whatever currency you're using in your country. So it could be Polish slot, it could be dollars, it could be euros, it could be anything. And it's like, yeah, I will send you ten, uh, the, the message for 10 euros. 
or ten dollars and after that I will get another message saying that I will need to send you another and another and another and right now we are running out of labor so another builder needs to be need to be reassigned and yeah that's the that's the tell I did say about the um, uh, about having the, the school in place because for a short bit we are running short on the labor so that's that's kind of not what I was well it is kind of what I was expecting but I kind of wanted to be more more just more yes I said more so we have vendor blacksmith double vendors and teacher and builder okay okay that's perfectly fine that's perfectly fine yeah, I think I will. Early summer, a merchant appeared on trading post. So what do we have? We have a beacon seed. You have a bread, and we have some ale. So yeah, let's. Uh, we don't need beacon seeds right now. So no, thank you, thank you very much, merchant. But we are not interested right now. We are doing fine. We are doing quite okay, I should say. So we did go with the stone that we have, almost all of it, towards building the chapel. Also, most of our iron went out. Well, we, we still have deposits over the ground, so I'm not that worried. And I kind of think that whenever our first students will become laborers, I will assign some of them to be working as the, as the farmers. And I will assign the place for farm. So let me just do it real quickly from field. And I'm kind of thinking of something like 19 by 90. Yeah, let's make it a bit smaller. And let's just prepare the territory for it. And we will need a cleric. Yeah, I do know we will need a cleric, but we will still need to wait. I think the cleric will be the first of the uh, of the guys that will come out of the school. So he might go just for a seminary to, to become a priest. And let's not forget that the priests were always well educated, or almost all the time well educated. So I do kind of think it will serve as, serve as good to have a well educated priest. He will perform better. He will bring more happiness and more joy to, to our small village, to our houses. And yeah. Yeah, that should be that should be fine. And yeah, on the market we are like 77% full already. We do have quite the amount of pension. Uh, the pasture, but the thing I'm looking for... Uh, new, as a new medical food producer. Yeah, that's, the, that's the, probably the butcher. Medieval hunting game. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, I did uh, download the mod for uh, for the game that is adding some of the stuff. As you can see, the uh, two-story buildings, just the basic one, with some more extension over it. And I am planning to making some of those houses, and I will plan to to, to just put them in place. Uh, but we do have the medieval blacksmith, which is kind of exactly the same as the as the normal one, I believe. Yeah, it do looks kind of the same to me. Uh, what about you? Well, the only differences are some crates uh, by the side of the building. Medieval windmill. Yeah, that's something we will be using, I think. Oh yeah, we do have the spring of labor, so as I did say, we will need one cleric, so let's let's put one cleric in place. What else do we have here? Medieval tailor, yeah, so we're stuck in a windmill, and medieval water mill. And this might be interesting. If I will ever find a place to put it. Oh, come on! Okay, about the food production. Medieval bakery. Yeah, bakery should be, should be something that I will definitely look forward to. The, the cabin, the hunter cabin. Okay. Medieval butcher shop. 
I do wonder if the Butcher Shop would work with the um, with the venture we do right now acquire. Uh, medieval Water Tower. Well, I don't believe, well, it is possible that it was looking something like that. I, I really don't know. Medieval Pond. <laughs> Okay, so what are the me uh, medieval services? Medieval cathedral. Oh, okay, that is a big building. I think later on we might try to do something like that. Medieval library. I do wonder what all, all of those buildings do, or is, are they just equivalents of the on the apothecary? So it's like the uh, gatherer, medieval clinic. Okay, barber shop even. Medieval dentist, that's something I would not recommend going to. Uh, medieval bathhouse. You know what, that might be something that we will put in. We'll create a road over here and maybe just stick the bathhouse. And medieval school, what is the difference? It's just higher building. Okay. Uh, so let's pause the game because we do have no months that arrive at our village and we have the trading post. Uh, what do you have? You have steel two berries and a bench. No, thank you. Thank you very much. And so we do have nomads. How many of them? Six nomads requires a citizen. Uh, allow them to become citizens of the YouTube village. Should we allow them to be our, our citizens? I think we could do it. So now we have like six homeless people. So I do think it is kind of a good idea to build our first medieval house. And I will need... Because the second story is just... Just one step over and I won't be building a three-story building. Well, not right now. I think I will start with with this. Let's see how they will build it. And I should put two builders in place because well, we do kind of need two builders. Do we have enough stone? That's the first question. I will need some guys to work our stone quarry. Anyway, so yeah, that will be that will be good. And also, guys, I did overstep the video length yet again. And the, the nomads did come and everything was happening so fast. Uh, but guys, uh, again, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Leave me a comment saying what you like, what you dislike about the video, so I will just know. And I could improve myself, and I could, could improve my channel, and let's build this channel as you guys want it to be. Uh, also, all the helpful links are in the video description. There are links to my other uh, Let's Play series, like Ban well, Banished, of course. We are playing Banished. Uh, Banas, the City Skylines, uh, Prison Architect, and Train Fever. Those are uh, current Let's Plays. I am planning on to extending those like, Let's Plays on a couple of more games. I do have a couple in mind. Well, actually, I have two in mind, but I will have to figure out everything as I go. But also, that's the that's the helpful links are in the video description, and I will I will go with them. So go check them out. And um, after that, yeah. That would be it for today, guys. Again, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and I do hope to see you all next time. But until then, Iron Rifle.